This is New York, and today is a Thanksgiving parade in New York. And then there's an idiot, he go and lay down in the ground. He is a protesting for Palestine, one person. They delay the whole parade. Welcome to New York. They're going to take him, carry him, get him out. <laughs> anyway, this is not my topic today, really. It's about the stupid Netanyahu. Those are the family of those who they are kidnapped. And they want their kids to be released, which is very normal to do. Striking in the street, gathering more people, etc. And you know, Netanyahu is a politician. All what he cares about is how to cool people down. Simply, he will fear losing his job. In countries like Israel, there is a big weakness, and Hamas is using it very well. When Hamas decided to kidnap as many they can, they did it because the same idiot Netanyahu before he released more than a thousand terrorists for the sake of one soldier, just one, not families, not children. So they said to themselves, if one person, for one person, they release 1,000 from us, and they did nothing, what about we take hundreds? And this is exactly what's happening now. Thanks to the, the big terrorist country in the world, Qatar, they claimed that they were successful to negotiate of ceasefire. And guess what Netanyahu he agreed upon? Not only he agreed of ceasefire, he agreed that no drone will be flying in the top of Gaza. Hmm. You know, if you are in the army and uh, you will ask yourself, okay, do, you, do they want ceasefire or they want not to be seen what they are doing in the ground? So the Israeli, they agree to ceasefire in the top of that they will not have any of their drones in the top of Gaza. So the stupid Netanyahu is telling Hamas, we will give you all those days to regroup, to move weapons, to change storages, to change warehouses, to smuggle, to prepare, and we will go blind, hide and seek. Now, If we look at it in a positive way, well, we are going to release 50 women and children. That's very good. I mean, those children, they are really terrified. It's very good to have them free. And the price is not too much expensive, four days of ceasefires. Hmm. So from one side, it's a good move to have those women and children released. But then we have still 200 people, or almost 200. So what we will do next? Those people will go home? No. Is the pressure on the government will stop? No. So what you did, nothing. And instead of saying, either you free everybody or no cease fire, or at least release all the civilians, the stupid Netanyahu, he gave them four days. Actually, it's not four days. Just wait. It's going to be eight, nine days. Because Hamas, they are saying, we can extend by releasing 10 people every day. So obviously Hamas, they are preparing for something really important to the point they are willing to release 10 hostages a day for every 24 hours of ceasefire. 
you know, Hamas will not do that unless there is something very important to gain in those 24 hours. Otherwise, those hostages is their treasure. It's their card for safety. Which means one day, if the Israeli continue in the war, and the leaders of Hamas are surrounded by the Israeli army, they will say, okay, we let us have a deal. You let us get out, let us say to Qatar or somewhere, and we give you the hostages. So this is their security. So what will they will do, they might release more hostages, tens, uh, 10 people a day, but they will, at the end, they will keep some important hostages with them. So even at the end, they will have their safety. Why? Because you have a government run by a bunch of stupid. They don't understand the game. Either you are going to finish Hamas and this is why you are there or why you went there. If the hostages is more than the target, more important than the target, which is finishing Hamas, then you know then that from the beginning, from the first day, you will not be able to finish Hamas. This is why many times I say it, I trust the Israeli army, they are very powerful, they are very professional, but I don't trust this idiot. And the Israeli society have a very bad weakness. People don't understand what war is about. They are emotional, government is weak, group of people go in the street holding pictures, the government they bow down to them. It's war. So now we release 50, we will release 50 people. But we lost more than 60 to 70 soldiers to be there. So what we did, nothing. We lost 70 soldiers to arrive to this day. And now we're releasing 50. We lost more than 60 soldiers. I don't know the number now. Maybe 70, I'm not sure. Of your best men. You know, like I don't want to talk about, uh, we don't talk about a human as an investment, right? But if you think about it, it took a lot of time, a lot of training, a lot of money to train a soldier, to be an adult. And now we sacrifice 60, 70 soldiers for a few kids. Where is the intelligence of this nation? If you are just bombing without going there, it's better then. Keep bombing Hamas until they release the hostages. Never stop. One month, two months, three months. What they did now? If you are not going to finish Hamas, as you promised, then what, what they are doing? Now, about the, the drone. You know, I was thinking about it, that maybe the Israeli, they promised no drone, you know, like those drones who go low. But there's drones, they go high and nobody can see. So they will tell Hamas, we will not have a drone. The one usually people see and they hear its sound. But they will have a high drone from high elevation who can still uh, do the job. But in the same time, I thought about it. Well, if they have those drones who they are in high elevation and they are enough, then why they have the drones who they are in low elevation? Obviously, the drone which is high is not enough. Which means Hamas still will not get away with many activities during those four days. So... I wanted to make this video to show you that I was right about Netanyahu. I'm afraid even after now, they might come to a total agreement of total ceasefire, which means nothing is done. And taking over Gaza, you know, as a land, 
It means nothing really. I mean, unless you want to stay there. If they stay there, take 50% of Gaza and put them all in the south next to Egypt, that will be a good move. So Hamas will never come back in that area. And they will be all more cornered in that area. That will be a good accomplishment. Otherwise, if you want to give it to them back, without any guarantee that they will not do any activities and they will not come back to sh you know, to send a rocket at you and kill your children, then what the point? So if Netanyahu, he stopped this war, he is a shameful man. He did not keep his promise. If it's only four days for the sake of 50 women and children, I will say, well, even if Hamas may be prepared for something, they have a benefit from that, still 50 kids and women are way more important. But we should not accept that we lost 60 and more soldiers to release 50. Because those 60 soldiers, they have families too. And they have a children's too. And they are more important than all those women and children. And yes, they are more important. Because those are the ones who defend the rest of women and children who they are still in the country. I hope that this idiot, he is not going to be dragged into the pressure of the American. Obviously, Biden is doing his pressure. The liberals, as you see, those stupid liberals, like now, there's a parade in New York, a woman or a guy, he lay down in the ground and he is acting like he is dead, like he is from Gaza. This is how silly, how stupid they are. And you know, the police and those states, liberals, they are not really a police. I mean, uh, if you insult, uh, uh, like I saw a video of an idiot, like, you know, he's going around to a shop and he's uh, uh, calling Muslim names. I mean, for sure, this is stupid to do. But they arrested him for doing that. But they don't arrest the one who is saying, uh, 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 like, uh, 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 Palestine free from the, from the river to the sea, which means genocide. However, how many people protest in New York will not change anything if you have a prime minister in Israel, he is strong. Who is the president in the White House will not to change anything unless he is a baby puppy. He take command and order from a foreign government like USA. Israel is a very powerful country and should not listen to any American. They can listen to advice. They can listen to uh, opinion. But nobody should force them what to do and what not to do for the best of their own nation. So let us see. I hope that Netanyahu is not playing a dirty game. The four days of ceasefire, they will not change to totally ceasefire. And if they want to change it to ceasefire, total ceasefire, the only way will be accepted if Israeli army keep control now and forever. On Gaza, the city of Gaza, the one they occupy already. Most of it is already under their hand. Gaza, when we say Gaza, there is a territory and there is the city of Gaza. So if we look at this map here, we will see the where it says N10. Here, like there is a separation between the city of Gaza from this side and the south of Gaza where Israel asked people to go. This is the south all the way to, uh, to Egypt. So this is Gaza there and Gaza now most of it already in the hand of the Israeli. So we can consider this as a victory if the Israeli say you will never have Gaza unless you do as we wish. And I think this is what they are planning to do. 
they will take all over Gaza and they will hold into it and they will negotiate that no Hamas, no terrorist and there is some countries have to in charge of this agreement maybe Egypt so maybe Egypt and some other countries through the United Nations they will send force of peacekeeper and it's better for Israel actually if they bring Muslims so when Hamas they shoot somebody from the peacekeeper they are going to be in trouble with Muslim country the only one knows how to deal with Muslims is Muslims the rest they don't Muslims don't believe in human rights so if Hamas shoot one of them they will shoot him as simple as that uh, I don't see any other good plan for what is coming better than this unless they continue and take in more areas you know like now there is a, a Israel was attacking some areas here in Khan Yunis which is in the south area and maybe the Israeli will do some kind of a command this landing and take over uh, Khan Yunis or they will come from this area here and take it all the way they have to hold the ground in order to have a strong cards of negotiation already they have a ground so if the Israeli in the future they finish they say oh we finished the job and we kicked Hamas from here and then you would draw without getting any guarantee and it have a real guarantee that nobody can come back there except civilians and somebody have to be in the ground as a security force armed security force who they are not Palestinians to prevent any terrorist group to operate from Gaza if this is what the Israeli would do accomplishment that would be good if they are now here and then you would draw that means they accomplish nothing except just destroying a city and destroying a city and killing a few thousand of Hamas is not really a big deal I mean those they have women they have babies uh, one woman she have a 26 baby I saw her in the interview she was saying where well, I will go I have 26 uh, child 26 just one woman so you killed a couple of thousand they will they will they will have them back in a few months they have to hold the ground and they will not shall not give it back to any authority except with total agreement and the agreement should not be with the Palestinians those people they cannot I mean they, uh, the Muslim they betray their prophet Muslim they killed his grandsons so imagine agreement with Muslims the agreement have to be by international community and then the international community they can name a group of government Islamic government to be in charge and then if anything any terrorist attack happen from Gaza those government they will be responsible for the attack and Israel will go after them not only after the Palestinians I hope the Israeli are doing the right thing and if you are from Israel share my opinion with your people I say never give the land back no matter how long you take it and don't even let the civilian go back until your conditions come to be true so let us say now they have a thought like they stop the war is not continuing don't let anyone go back this is the way you can pressure them badly you want to go back to your houses will force your garbage terrorist Hamas to give up their weapon and surrender and then all those who claim that they are supporting ceasefire there's no reason for them to say we don't accept because all the condition you are saying I want to guarantee that nobody will attack our people that's all I don't want anything from them have your government 
kiss the stones, worship the black stone, kiss the vagina of Muhammad, no problem. But all what we want, nobody from here will go over there and did and do what they did in October 7 again. Leave your comment and tell me what do you think. Thank you very much for listening. God bless you. And happy Thanksgiving for all of you. Take care.